Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and I'm in my new place. I just got back from work and I couldn't even take my coat off yet because I'm so excited because I got a notification that my bed is coming from Nest Bedding. I'm super excited to get a mattress from Nest Bedding because they are family owned, they're from California. They're one of the first brands that actually did the whole bed in a box, which is super convenient because now that I live in the city, uh, I don't know how to get a giant mattress up here. So I'm really excited to see the box and to see the mattress basically unfold. Something that's really important to me is creating an eco-friendly lifestyle or doing what I can to create an eco-friendly atmosphere. So when I was looking for bedding, I wanted to go for a brand that was along those same lines and one that was affordable. I actually think I was able to find one of the most affordable mattresses that also is really high quality and a great brand all around. So I'm super excited to try it out. I probably said super excited a million times. Okay, so my timing impeccable it has been literally like 10 minutes and i just got a knock on the door that it's here thanks to them for at least putting handles on it because it definitely makes it much easier to carry i got the love and sleep which is the most affordable most comfortable mattress on the market it's green guard certified which means it has gone through testing to make sure it doesn't emit any harmful chemicals or hazards etc into the air so i'm really uh pumped about that in terms of eco friendliness another thing that i wanted to mention that i got was a mattress protector so i got one of the cool mattress protectors that I need to open up. This is supposed to be helpful for spills and liquids um, to leave out like allergens and dust mites. It also has cooling technology. I keep stressing cooling technology because there was a moment like, I don't know if it was stress related or something, but I was sweating so much in the night at one point. It was like I would wake up and just be sweating. And I was like, what in the world is going on? So I switched my sheets to linen fabric that's been much more breathable. And that's why I really wanted to do the Love and Sleep because it has that like cooling, airing, breathable type of mattress. I just want to protect myself so I don't have to worry about that at all. Oh, this is cute. This is a bedtime tracker. It says, I went to sleep at, I woke up at, total number of hours sleeping. And so you could keep track for the first week. Let's see. What? <laughs> two. Okay, two is enough. My bed frame has this like sticker strip so that you place the mattress on it and I forgot to take it off so I'm gonna have to do that now. Whoops, but this is not bad. Look how nice it is. Now it's fluffed up so quick. just feels nice and soft as I'm like putting my hand in it initially. It's so cool to the touch that I'm already like, oh, this is gonna be a good night's sleep. I'm already excited for it. It's actually so relieving. It just feels very calming. It feels soft, but I'm not sinking, if that makes sense, which is really, really great. I actually sleep in a million different positions. I don't know if that's dancing or whatever, but I tend to like move around a lot. And if I do have the space, I'll sleep on an angle as well. So my initial impressions right now are that this is dope. Um, I want to put my mattress cover on just so that I can protect it. And oh, I guess I'll put my sheets on too, which is exciting. I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow morning. First wake up after sleeping in my nest bed. Um, wow. It makes me realize how much my other bed, like I guess I sunk in a little bit. I don't know how to describe it, but I feel like I'm not sinking. This is a medium um, in terms of firmness. Yesterday was really hard because I was trying to do work, but sitting on the bed and I was just like falling asleep. Yeah, so night one was really, really nice. And I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit before I start my day. It's been a week and I am back and I wanna give my update slash final thoughts on the nest bedding love and sleep bed. First, I'm gonna get into some things that I absolutely love and some things that are, we're still working on it. So what I love is that I can literally sleep. I'm not struggling with sleeping at all. Another thing that I really like is that it's not noisy. So I was reading a couple of reviews cause I like to you know do my research. Some people were saying that the cool mattress protective cover um, was like a little noisy in the night. I haven't noticed that at all. So 
I'm really happy about that because the last thing I want to hear is me shifting around and just like ksh, 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 ksh. That's just my guess of what it was gonna sound like. Now onto the I'm still getting used to things. I got hot at least two times this week. I know that this is, was a cooling bed and I felt how cool it was and then I have the cool mattress protective cover, but I don't have uh, those breathable sheets or like a linen fabric or something that's very airy and breathable. Only reason why I'll say that that's not necessarily anything to do with this mattress is because right here is my heater. So here is the heater, which is on right now, and here's my bed. So could it be that it's literally just because the heat is overpowering? Yes, I think so. So I don't really take that much off of the nest bedding itself because I'm literally working against this heater, which I'm happy for heat in New York, especially who we need our heat, but I can always pretty much be in a tank top and shorts. And especially at the times that it's really overpowering, I'll just wear shorts and a tank top and I won't go under all my sheets. I'll just go under this uh, quilt right here. Here's another interesting thing. So I'm five, four and a half and this bed is a full size. I believe it's 75 inches. I believe my height is like in the sixties. When I'm sleeping, I tend to like scurry down a little bit and I don't end up staying on my pillow sometimes, but I notice that my feet kind of hang off the bed. If you happen to be taller than me and you don't you know, sleep on your pillows or sleep massively propped up, you're gonna experience your feet off the bed. I'm right at the top, pretty much. So if I have my little pillow here, you know, I'm right at the edge. Like there's, like there's my feet. I just never thought I'd be considered tall enough that my feet would dangle off the edge. I would say it's both a plus and an adjustment that it's a little bit more firmer. So, but I can get to sleep and that's all that matters and I can sleep comfortably and I actually enjoy it. That is my seven day update. I'm very impressed with this brand. I love that it's eco-friendly. I love that this was very affordable. And if you're interested, I do have a code that I'll have linked in the description box if you'd like to check out Nest Bedding. I'm really impressed by the quality. I'm really impressed by how easy it was to set up the bed and to just you know cut it out of the plastic and watch it rise. This is very, very, very quickly as you saw in the video. This actually has a warranty of 100 nights sleep. They have a ton of different other mattresses. They have organic mattresses. They have hybrids, sheets and pillows, et cetera, et cetera. They're a really, really, really great brand. Finding a great mattress was the number one thing that was important to me and moving to my new place. I feel well supported, I feel comfortable, and I do highly recommend them. I thank Best Bedding so much for partnering with me with this video. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.